Somebody mentioned to me in the comments of my previous copper marking video that they were having some trouble getting depth in copper with a 50 watt laser and I've got a 20 watt laser and I figured I'll give it a shot and see if I can do it. So what you see here is EDM grade copper and I'm not positive what that means but it's what you would use to mill out an electrode that would be used in an EDM machine for mold making. So this block has been squared off and you can see I've already started to mark it. What I'm doing here is just marking an X and I'll go through the settings right now. So these are the settings that I used for this X right here. You can see I'm, well let's go to the hatch first. So I'll select the X. If I click on the hatch, you can see the rough size of it over here, about almost 10 by 10 millimeters. I'm using this pattern for the hatch, enabling everything including a cross hatch starting at an angle of 45. I'm using pen number one, a line spacing of 0 0.01 millimeters. And I'm also doing a second hatch at 270. This is going to be a different pen, pen 2, not following the edge on this one, also has a cross hatch. Line distance is going to be 0.05, so that'll be a lot faster. So I'm going to cancel that, deselect the X, go to pen 1. My pen settings are 100 millimeters per second, 90% power, and this is a 20 watt laser, and 20 kilohertz frequency. For pen 2, for the second hatch, it is 500 millimeters per second, 50% power, and 35 kilohertz frequency. So total marking time here was just under 5 minutes at 4 minutes 50 seconds. So there is a little bit of debris that needs brushed off on the top and then the mark will look a little bit better after that. So I'm going to mark another X and then we'll take this to the service plate after that and we'll actually see the depth. So on mark 1 this was just set to run continuously and I let it run for about 5 minutes. On this second mark I'm going to have it run for 8 total repetitions. So it's going to go right there and let's do it. So the second attempt I'm getting is a little bit adventurous and I'm going to leave pen 1 settings the same but pen 2 I'm going to change to 700 millimeters per second with 50% power and 50 kilohertz frequency and I'm also going to change the hatch for the second pass and that's hatch 1 is going to stay the same hatch 2 is going to be 0.03 millimeters now I'm going to leave the angles the same and everything else the same All right, so that's eight marks. Let's take it down to the surface plate and see how we did for depth. Okay, so we're using our Shars dial indicator to run it across the top of this block. And I squared this block a while ago in my torn block. It's relatively square on the sides end to end and, and with less than half a thousand probably. So it's loaded to about zero right now. You can see, I think, yeah, you can see the indicator. So this is our first mark right here. It took about five minutes. And you can see the max depth on that is about eight thousandths. So I don't really see much of a lip here. It doesn't, a eh, little tiny one right there. About a thousandth at most. Not everywhere either. I did clean these markings out with the bristles of a toothbrush too. So I got marks one and two labeled there. And mark one was about 8,000 steep. Mark two was about 9,000 steep. Mark three is going to go, let's click on the X. Light it up right there. So I'm going to do a total of eight passes again, and let's do it. I'm going to try this X once more, and I'm going to make two changes. If I click on the file here, so if I click on the X and I go to the hatch, you can see that I've changed the pattern. On patch 1, all the settings are the same otherwise. Same thing on patch 2, we're going to change the pattern, all the settings are the same otherwise. I did add a third hatch, it's going to happen at 90 degrees, it's going to use pen 3, and it's going to have a line spacing of 0.05 millimeters. No cross hatch on this one. So, for pen 3, other pen settings are the same as the last, as the second mark. So, for pen 3, we're doing 1000 millimeters per second, 40% power, and 50 kilohertz frequency. So, that's going to be a real fast pass. So I don't know if this change in pattern and change in cleanup pass for the third pen is going to have any impact, but let's find out. Oh, 
All right, that's eight. Let's take it down to the surface plate. So here's the second mark. We're pretty much on zero there. Jump in. For a moment, we got to 11 thousandths. Nine and a half. Now that's the center, so I would think my ball is about as deep as it can be there. And that's already showing about 12 thousandths, almost 12 thousandths. Sorry, no, that's 11 and a half thousandths. Now I guess we didn't quite get further than that. And this will be the third marking. I would imagine we're looking at about 10. We go to the center and about 11. So in running this indicator over the markings, I felt that maybe the ball wasn't bottoming out completely. So I did take it over my mill and plunged an end mill into the markings about five thousandths and just verified that the indicator was actually bottoming out and it was. So the full depth was actually measured. So here's a picture of the end result.